My sister has made my kids call her mom. When they get in trouble, she has them write these journal entries apologizing for what they've done, and they start with, Dear Mom. They have to read them to Christy. And my children have told me they don't want to call her mom. They know that's not their mom. I will never stop fighting for my daughters. Well, Christy says she's not trying to erase Tricia from her daughter's lives, but she has a responsibility to protect them from her. Christy says the children are still scarred from living with Tricia and don't want to go back to her. Take a look. Nobody will ever be able to convince me that my sister Trisha should have custody of her daughters again. The girls are better off living with me. So she wants to get custody of you guys back. How do you feel about that? I feel she hasn't talked to us, so I don't think she has the right to. I don't think that prison has changed my sister Trisha at all because she's still the exact same person. That's sad. My sister Trisha is an ex-heroin addict. I don't believe that she is sober. Prior to getting put in prison, she wasn't fit to be a mom. She never took care of them. Trisha's done drugs in front of the girls. Children's Services has always been involved since my sister had her oldest daughter. Right now, she wants to take the girls away from me and cut me out of their lives. What day of the week do we do our weekly chores? Did you vacuum living room, dining room? They've been with me for almost six years. I called them my girls because they are. There was never a verbal agreement between my sister Trisha and I stating anything of the nature of once she was done with her sentence that I would sign custody of the girls back over to her. I've never banned her from visiting. She stopped on her own. She doesn't call. I'm not going to hunt her down. Trisha doesn't follow guidelines as far as like visitation with the girls. We had set up for her to come over and have a two hour supervised visitation. She ended up staying eight hours. If I say something to her about it, it makes me look like the bad guy. If somebody said, no, you have to give custody back, it'll kill me. It'll be like I had two kids that died. Like, it will literally kill me. Well, Christy, good to meet you. You too. Um, you've been listening so far to what we've been talking about. Um, I'll first give you a chance to respond to anything that's been said so far. She has called Children's Services on me. Every time that Children's Services has been called on me, I've been cleared. Mm -hmm. um, I take extremely good care of her daughters. I have. We never had a verbal agreement yeah. that you would receive. No, we did not. So yes, stop right did. now. You had your chance to say what you wanted to, so now it's my turn. Hmm. We never had an agreement. Her attorney was there on her behalf when the day I won full permanent custody of the girls, who said that it was her wish, that that is where she wanted them to be placed. The night that um, I got the girls initially was because she had been placed under a safety plan, a parental safety plan, after having been arrested. And she decided not to follow the rules, and she was left <clears throat> unsupervised with her daughter. The phone call I got was, can you please take the girls? If not, they're going to put them in foster care. I didn't even hesitate at all. 